Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, your girl has just finished her 1L year of law school. What? Yeah, you heard that right, okay? But today it's not about me. I'm here to give you 10 pra practical tips or things you could do the summer before law school. I know that it's a very interesting time. People are nervous. People want to know the best things they could do to set themselves apart before law school and I'm here to tell you that there are certain things you could do that are within your control and there are things you shouldn't bother yourself doing. Alright, so let's get right into it. I just want to say congratulations again. I know this is a very big moment in your life and it's probably something you've been dreaming of for a very long time and it's finally here. I just wanted to paraphrase by saying this is not the gospel truth. This is my experience and this is just my advice to you all. So take it with a grain of salt, okay? So first I just want to say enjoy this time you have. Honestly, you will not get this time back at all because once you start law school, everything just keeps adding on and on and on and you just don't want to burn yourself out before you actually start law school law school is a marathon not a sprint and you want to be as well relaxed before you begin this journey because it's going to be long it's going to be hard and it's definitely a mentally taxing endeavor you're getting yourself into so to better put yourself to put yourself in the best place possible, I would say enjoy your time because spending time and money taking um, a pre-law school program like Barbie and all the other programs out there, I don't think is a good use of your time because when you get into law school, you find that professors teach things at different in different ways and they want your exam to look in a different in a specific way and you're wasting your time with material like that and your money it doesn't just it's of no benefit honestly and in the long run it might be to your detriment because you might have to unlearn certain things that you picked up using the prep courses but that aside I would suggest that if you're really really intrigued or just clueless of what law school is like and what the teaching process is like and the exams I would highly recommend reading certain books that are geared towards explaining the law school experience and those are the law school confidential and one l of a ride specifically to give a framework of what law school is and then for the exam preparations and just how to tackle exams i would suggest reading um getting to maybe i would not particularly suggest reading that right away in the summer because you don't really understand some of the terms that they use in the book it will probably be best to go back to it maybe a month into law school because by then you would have picked up certain things and it, it won't hurt you to start kind of working through how you want to you know begin um, putting your material together or like how you want to proceed in the next coming weeks in preparation for final exams so I would suggest those books another tip I would suggest is touch typing for me I did that the summer before law school because I wasn't really good with typing without looking at the keyboards and it's helpful because at the end of each semester your final exam is the only grade you have and you want to be able to have enough time to type out all you have to write out because you are constrained to a certain time period and you, at the end of the day you're being graded against your classmates and if you're not able to type out as much information as possible that could end up being to your detriment so definitely learn how to touch type. I would also suggest that you um, get into listening to podcasts and one, pod one podcast that I would highly highly recommend is the Law School Toolbox. I found it really helpful to break down down what it's like to be a law student just like the daily experiences and how to network with the lawyers and networking going to networking events just the whole gamut and I found that podcast really helpful it's about two women talking about their experience in law school and they bring in speakers who talk about just mental process how to mentally process 
this transition into law school, ways to set yourself apart in law school, and things you could do just to excel. And I think it's a very great resource. Another thing that I would suggest is to develop a routine for yourself this summer. So starting from the things that you like to implement in your self-care routine, so whether that be exercising, whether that be painting, dancing, whatever that is for you, try to work that into your routine now so when you get into law school it's not something that just falls by the wayside because of stress you know this has already become part of who you are and it's just something that will help you maintain your sanity once you start law school another thing is to also develop your routine for your sleep schedule so develop your sleep schedule and develop the kinds of meals you plan to eat so I created a Pinterest board and basically started pinning things the kinds of food that I'm interested in and the things that are easy and quick because honestly you find out there's not that much time in law school a lot of people tend to meal prep over the weekend so they just have meal t meals to eat throughout the week but for me I did do that and kind of fell off because I got tired of eating the same thing over and over again I survived on pasta this past year and I'm sorry it's not the healthiest but it's quick but you know it gets boring so just try to find healthy meals for yourself and things that will just keep you alert and maintain and sustain you throughout you know the week and meal prep for that and another thing I will highly suggest is to network I know a lot of people are kind of scared really nervous to just you know cold call people randomly and just pick their brains but I think now is a really perfect time because given that people are at home or most lawyers are at home it's definitely easy to catch them and just have conversations about their practice how they got to where they are what they would suggest like when it comes to kinds of classes down the line where you have the option to choose classes and just an idea of what it is like to really be a lawyer and what the legal profession has to offer because there are so many career opportunities in law and if you don't reach out and ask questions then there's no way you get that information so that is something I will highly recommend I know it's scary but I think the best way to start out is to get on LinkedIn and reach out to people who attended your undergrad or who got who are alums from your law school and just get a sense of what they have to say because in the long run that could be a network that could give you a job that could help you land a job in the future so you definitely want to take advantage of every opportunity you have so i would suggest that along the lines of networking i would suggest to start building your linkedin profile this is an opportunity to you know work your way into build your professional portfolio if you will because through LinkedIn you can connect to so many so many people and it's just a great platform to just get a sense of the things that are out there for you and it doesn't hurt to just send an, send a message and see if anybody would be willing to talk to you because I'm, I'm assure you people are willing to talk about themselves any time of the day to do that I would also suggest to get your life your personal life in order because first of all anything toxic any toxic relationships you have try to cut that out as early as possible because law school is already stressful and draining on its own and you don't want anything additional to add to that stress so definitely cut that out and then any little errands you need to run like if you need to go to the DMV to get your license or whatever sorted out you definitely need to do that if you need to get your eyesight checked you need to do that I did get my eyes checked and I had to upgrade my prescription because I was blind and as you go for the further in law, law school I've heard that you get your eyesight gets worse so it's better to start off knowing that at least use your you're on the right track and you don't completely go in blind and you just have to figure out scheduling an appointment in the doctor when you already don't have time so if you could get some of that stuff done in the summer that would be great if um, you need to plan out hair cuts and whatever get that done in the summer so at least you're going in with a clean slate and there isn't nothing on your there's nothing on your table that is just 
eating away at your time and then if it like if you're not familiar with the environment that you're moving into I think it will be a good time to kind of fill the area out and see places where you could get things that you need just for your daily necessities because you want to be able to know what is really quick like where can I get food where can I get groceries where can I pick up things that I need like in a time crunch so that would be really helpful and beneficial to do in the summer before law school so you're not wasting your time trying to figure that out once school starts in the fall and then I would suggest to just read for fun honestly do not worry about trying to read a case because honey you will read a lot of those once you start <laughs> okay be rest assured you will so do not worry at all because there's a lot of time for that so just read any fun material you have I would add I will add a link that has a compilation of different book lists from different schools compiled by Evangeline Mitchell and I think it would be really helpful to just see different options that different law schools have suggested to their students and it's mostly all fun reads not anything legally related and lastly one of the most important things I would suggest for you is to save your money because once you start especially your first year there isn't really much opportunity to work unless you're working part-time or you're working at least 20 minimum no maximum 20 hours a week and you want to be able to have money to sustain yourself because you know you still have to survive even though you're a law student you have bills to pay and all of that and like even though loans will also help but you also want to have some funds coming in or be able to access those funds as easily as possible so if you're working try to save your money because I know corona is out here and people are really comfortable in their houses so Amazon and all the fashion sites and all the sites have deals and all of that and it's easy to get tempted but do not because when it comes to the fall you're like I don't have any money and I'm confused so don't let that be you save your money and yeah I hope this video definitely helps you to prepare for law school I know it is weird and exciting to just think that I'm done with my 1L year but I hope this is helpful in some form and be sure to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye